Hi guys, this is Grivili again with another pen review and today we are going to have a look at an Italian pen um, which is called the Marte Modena Citizen. The Marte Modena Citizen is a fairly new pen. It just came out about a month ago, I think I think even this month in December. Um, that's how mine looks like. Uh, I'm going to cover this quite quite nice and beautiful pen in a minute. Um, a background on the Citizen, I mean the, the theme of the Marte Modena, Modena Citizen is cities actually. The And there are different models available. The one that I have here is called Modena, Marte Modena Modena, Citizen Modena. So actually the pens, the color theme of the pens is always reminiscent of the color schemes of um, the shield or flag of the city. So Mo oops, uh, Modena's colors are blue and yellow. And then there are others uh, such as Mumbai, Moscow, London, Madrid, New York, Tokyo, and so on. And all those pens that are available in those different color scheme uh, in these different city models then have the respective color city color schemes. Um, the pen costs around 100 euro, which is not, is not, super cheap but it's or inexpensive but um, it's also not very expensive and since they come in a couple of different models and col uh, colors um, they might also be a collectible right a pen that that you might want to collect so that's um, the the warranty card here that comes with the uh, citizen and something that i need to also point out is that uh, uh, it is a Marte modena pen but to my knowledge it's the first or one of the first Marte modena pens because Marte modena in itself is an italian distributor a web shop and they do distribute um, pens such as uh, visconti and delta and also others luxury writing instruments and then they also have watches and things like that um so i think this one of the first pens or the first pen that actually is a marte modena pen but the pen is not made by marte modena itself it is produced by marlin which is an italian fountain pen manufacturer with also quite a reputation you slide that cardboard box thing out and often out comes a black box that looks leatherish but i guess is plastic looks very nice though very presentable and then inside is just the pen in a plastic sleeve and you see again marlin italy the pen is produced by marlinpen.com by marlin italy and then inside yeah just the uh, you know a cushion fountain pen pillow thing where the pen rests in so oops let's get that back in here and have a look at the pen itself the pen itself is a quite large a rather large pen one thing that becomes like now this is the modena i said they all look slightly different they have different color schemes but the general appearance of the pen is the same the shape the uh, barrel design and all that cap design is all the same uh, something that I really love about this pen here, and that is the first thing that has caught my eyes, is it, this is a resin body, and you see this very, very, very beautiful marbling here in blue, blue marbling, and it also goes on here. It has a yellow end cap. You see that marbling going on here, and the section, I show you that first because that is what has caught my eye first. The section also is yellow and has this very, very, very beautiful marbling going on here. That's something that I saw first when I got the pen. And uh, it's something that really caught my eye. If I, you can even see it better if I put a white background behind it, play a little bit with the light. This is truly beautiful. And I would say the main feature or the most attractive feature of that pen, you see if I change the angles and the light falls in, is very spectacular, really, really nice. I like that a lot. And the pen snip is really nice. Writing performance is very good. So let's cover the pen. Looking at the pen itself, uh, a pretty classic capped off cigar shape pen design. Quite lovely, quite classy. Um, nothing nothing uh, overly fancy going on otherwise 
on top of the cap we have a i think it's brass or something like that um metal inlay here at the finial with the m this is the marte modena logo uh which looks kind of nice then you have a clip here that clip is the same goldish material also says marte modena Let's see if we can get the camera to focus here marte modena the clip is very usable not overly tight not overly loose very very usable nice and springy the cap of course also in this resin with the blue marbling going on then there is sort of like ah, it's not exactly a center band but at least some ornaments here that looks a little bit yeah it, it's nice it like i mean i'm not a history expert but it i don't know it reminds me of ancient greece or rome or whatever like it, it looks a little bit old school looks a little bit age ancient ancient very nice i like that a lot uh then we have the barrel here and then we have a yellow end cap here and i'm going to show you the end cap is threaded and you can actually remove that i'm going to show you that in a second when we remove the cap that is actually the only thing and i also pointed out at that point right now that is the only thing that actually really disturbs me personally with the pen is that it takes three full turns one two the cap still doesn't come off three now the cap comes off it takes three full turns to um fasten the cap or to uncap the pen that definitely does the make that pen not a quick note taker for me because that really that's something that i normally don't really like about pen and pens and i also don't like it about this pen but i mean well it's something you can deal with but it's something that i definitely have to point out that is um yeah that is a bit of an annoyance of an otherwise very very beautiful pen but of course it makes it also yeah the cap won't just come off as said the cap um, then uh, has no additional inner cap but still makes a, a very good does a very good job in preventing the nib from drying out um, the nib is a I was very convinced that this is a Yovo nib when I looked at it first but I double checked with Martin Modena and it is actually a bog nib it's a number six bog nib with the number six bog feed of course has a breather hole uh, this is um, no no has no size indication, but it's a medium nib. It's also available in fine, extra fine, and broad. This one here is medium. Has also the Marte Modena M logo on it. You see some Roro and Klingner Blue Mare ink sparkles here on it because I thought Blue Mare is an ink that goes very well with this with this nice blue and yellow uh, pen. You see the pen in my hand is a quite decently sized pen i'm gonna do a size comparison in a bit what i really like about this pen is that it's really chunky i mean it's really really nice it's like a beefy pen to hold this is not a this is not a slim pen um the section is not too long not too short just right flares out a little bit here in the front makes it very very comfortable to hold and you can hold that section more down here or more up here it doesn't really matter the threads you feel them, but they're not really sharp. But the, as said, the, the section is large enough to not have to hold the pen up here. Then uh, you get an ink window, which is also actually pretty useful to um, show you when you're running uh, when you're running low on ink with the pen. That is also a very nice feature. Um, yeah, and then as said, that's the rest of the barrel here. Pen can be posted posts very very securely gets not very top heavy because yeah the cap is, is quite lightweight actually uh, the whole pen is a moderate medium weight i would say it's not a very lightweight pen but it's also not overly heavy because it's resin um it gets a bit long for me but it doesn't get top heavy mm, depends now on the size of your hands my hands are a little bit on the larger side i would say but I mean, you see that personally, I don't have any problem with writing the pen unposted and I do most of the time write with the pen unposted. Let's open up the pen, unscrews like that. This, those threads are done very, very well. That doesn't feel wobbly or whatsoever, feels very well made. The converter, already low on ink, as said, Rohren Klingler, Klingler Blue Mare was supplied with the pen. I don't know if you can see it oh, you can see it a bit it's a schmidt converter written here very nice yeah and then as said um there's another end cap here and it's actually not 
Yeah, you can unscrew it like that and then you can also operate the piston, piston uh, of the converter from that side. I'm actually not super sure what this is exactly useful for since you can just traditionally unscrew it like that, submerge into ink and then fill like that. Uh, I guess, I mean, there's also no harm done by being able to unscrew that right here, right? I mean, these are also very well made threads that also doesn't wobble around or feels loose or whatever. That feels also very well made. Um, so I think you can just like, you know, sort of fake a piston filler a little bit in that way, which might, the intention might have been to, you know, sort of upgrade the pen a little bit or make it feel even more high quality or whatever. So. As said, you can unscrew here and you can unscrew here and you can fill through both sides. No harm is actually done by having that. I don't know if it's super useful, but anyway, it also doesn't really matter. So let's hop into a size comparison. We have the Marte Modena here and as said, I throw in a smaller also blue marbled pen. That here is the Pelican M200 blue marbled. So you see the Marte Modena is not exactly a small pen and as another reference maybe my standard size reference which is the Lamy Safari and you can see Mar Lamy Safari and the Marte Modena C Citizen it's almost exactly the same length when they are capped however the Marte Modena is more beefy more chunky it's a beefy pen but I like it it feels great in the hands and it's very well balanced I also have to say that so let's check out the uncapped lengths and as you can see, I mean, like the Pelican M200 always appears small when capped, but when uncapped actually is not that small because the cap sits quite deep on the barrel. Um, yeah, I mean, the Marte Modena is almost, it lays exactly in between the uh, M200 and the Lamy Safari. It's only a tad, a couple of like maybe three or four millimeters shorter than the Lamy Safari. So if you're comfortable with the size of a Lamy Safari, uh, you're going to be comfortable with the size of the Marte Modena. I will now not post those pens because the Marte Modena, I would say, is more than large enough to be written unposted. So there's no need for posting that pen. As to the end of the review, let's hop into a writing sample. Let me zoom in a little bit. Like that. And adjust the camera slightly. With this number six. Bocknip. The light is a bit weird in here right now, but I am sure you will see my writing. Marte Modena. It's a medium nib. Medium nib. The name of the model is Citizen. Very nice, very smooth writing experience. Wetness of the nib. Now, Rohren Klingler Blue Mare is not an overly wet nib. It's it's rather a mod, uh, uh, ink. It's a rather moderate ink, as is the wetness. So we have a moderately wet ink here, and um, I would also say I've had that uh, filled before with Hiroshi Suku Konpeki, which is a little bit more uh, lubricant, a little bit more uh, a slightly wetter ink. Of course, the pen was a bit wetter, but I would say that the the nib is a, is a moderately wet nib. Uh, there's not much line variation that you can get out of that nib. That nib here is really, really rigid. But yeah, you know, it's not a flex nib. It's not a semi-flex nib. It's just a modern fountain pen nib. Um, so I would say that is that's really okay. The writing performance, I mean, it's a bog nib. And bog nibs, uh, they are normally really good. Works, works very, very well. You know, the nib has no problems in keeping up with the feed, uh, with the flow of the ink or whatsoever. So um, this is a really nice nib. It's a really, really nice writer. And uh, overall, I would say it's a, with 100 euro, it's a fairly priced pen. I mean, you get, a, it is an, not an upper class pen, but it's a more high quality pen. I mean, it's, you know, if you're already into fountain pens for quite a while and you want something a bit nice, so this is really a pen to consider. Looks spectacular with all that marbling. A great pen. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like about the pen so much, as said, is like that I have to really give it three full turns to uncap it. 
But otherwise, I'd say for 100 euro, a fair price, a nice pen. And yeah, I think that is everything that has to be said about this pen. Uh, I'll thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next review. Bye.